Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, they're all gods. So when I say Quentin Tarantino, he naturally falls into the same category. So when his next artwork hits screens, we are all eager and salivating to see the next body of Christ. However, being unpleasantly disappointed wasn't part of the plan. Unlike his previous films, such as Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill and Inglorious Bastards, which all opened with titanium strength. And I'll execute every motherfucking last one of you! Bad motherfucker. It's your baby. High standard scenes. Django Unchained kicks off with a dull and met vibe that most certainly lacks energy. You keep waiting for that hit of adrenaline, but it never comes. So we have Django, Jamie Foxx, a freed slave who partners up with Dr. King Schultz, Christopher Waltz, a German bounty hunter, to find the men who tortured and enslaved his wife. With hurdles along the way, things naturally get blown. First 20 to 30 minutes, you start to get disheartened. As the story progression is slower than Tarantino usual, and nothing eventuates or eggs you on to want to know more about this country western story. It isn't until Leonardo DiCaprio enters where the cogs start turning and there's life pumped into the tail. Unlike his masterpieces Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill, time is in actual proper sequence, which works well, but there's not much to the characters, the story or overall purpose of the film. In saying that, there are some major highlights. Leonardo DiCaprio and Christoph Waltz dominate this film. They are just royalty that rule Django Unchained. Your blood starts pumping any time they open their mouths. Kill the whites. <laughs> Who knows what could happen? It isn't all a loss, as there are some badass motherfucker scenes, Tarantino never short of a massacre, and of course, the funny smirk encouraging one liners never you fail. Silver tongue devil, you. Look, Django Unchained, a major disappointment, but in saying that, it's a must see for die hard Quentin Tarantino fans. Just don't expect the Holy Grail from our once god. Maybe add a dash of bourbon to your frozen coke to make your popcorn pop.